brighten your day, throw your troubles away, sit back and watch you sis farmer today. Hello everyone, I'm Eustace Farmer, and in this video I'm going to give you a rather odd tour of the game's surrounding countryside, town area, main farm, and even a glimpse at Oliver's farm. I decided to go with a spooky yet whimsical approach, being that most of the areas are devoid of people milling about, and several of the places are in disrepair. But what most inspired this vibe is Oliver himself and the suspicious tractor. Oliver is a creepy looking guy and he acts and sounds kind of odd too. <laughs> he sounds kind of like an old movie actor by the name of Jack Palance. Look him up on Google and YouTube and you'll see what I mean. Regarding the John Deere reference in the video's thumbnail, that came from an observation I made watching Daggerwind play the version of the game the developers furnished him with compared to the version released to us the general public. In Daggerwind's version, the old tractor Oliver gave him was a John Deere. Now the tractor is red and it's renamed as a Jack Bear C. So I decided to make Oliver and my suspicions of him surrounding this tractor the focus of the story. Where's my grandfather's tractor, Oliver? Where's his John Deere? So at the end of the story, I'll close out with a brief wrap up of my initial opinions of the game and a few other more important tidbits. So please stick around for that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to the story. I hope you all enjoy. This is a creepy detective farmer story. There is no foul language or gore. However, the video contains music, sound effects, and dialogue that may be considered frightening to young children. I.E. Grizzly Bear Sims, Farmer Klein, and Doug Zorley are at risk for having nightmares. Parental discretion and diapers are advised. <laughs> And there goes the train, with my cell phone on it. First day back in Ergenvo after decades, and it's already shaping up to be a great time. I'll go in and see the train master here, see if they can contact the train engineer and have the conductor drop off my phone at the next stop. Now, let's see, now I'm locked up. Hmm. Yep, all locked up tight. Wow, even the clock doesn't work anymore. It's like they rolled up the sidewalks around here. Come to think of it, cell phone's probably useless. I didn't see any cell towers on the right end. Pretty rural out here. Well, I guess I'm going to have to hoof it into town and see if I can't get a little snack and uh, use a payphone or somebody's cell phone. Call a taxi or something. If there's any such thing as a taxi out here. Man, this place looks like it hasn't changed since my grandfather was born. Ah, uh, here we go. Nice filling station. Be able to get a little something to eat. Use the phone. Things are looking up. Or not. There's nobody in here. What the heck is going on around here? Is this like free for all day? Free gas? Free snacks? Uh, this one's all locked up. More of the same stuff in there, too. That's odd. Ah, oh, nothing ain't right with this place, that's for sure. Uh, maybe I can go into the town square. There's got to be some shops open or something. Some people milling about. Nope. What the heck is going on? Not a soul in sight. Nobody. Well, come on over to the church here. Uh, usually the priests, they live on site. Uh, nope. Nothing open. All locked up, too. This one is a church locked up. Wow. Look at this weird stuff. All the church pews are sitting outside in front of the church. Uh, maybe they're refinishing the floors or something. Who knows? But I can't worry about that now. 
I gotta start hoofing it back to the farm. We have to have a little chat with old Ollie. Whew. Whew. Man, it's been a long time since I've been a cop walking a beat. Man. Almost there. Oh, I'd like to get my hands on that guy. Boy, I'd like, you'd think he would extend himself and come out here and get me. It's like nobody has a cell phone out here. Oh, I remember this fishing stream. Had a lot of nice times there as a kid. Oh, almost there. Ah, uh, home sweet dump. We have a quick look around here before we meet up with old Oliver. Look at this place, it's a shambles. Ah, oh, the old barn, it's falling apart. The silos, the greenhouses, storage, it's all a wreck. What's he been doing with the money my sister's been giving him from Grandpa's dowry? Now there's the weed whacker. Whoa, what's Rope doing hanging from all the rafters here? Granddad didn't slaughter animals. Wow. What a sad state of affairs. That straw looks a little lumpy. Uh, I don't even dare poke through there right now. Lord only knows what I'll find. Save it for another day. Yeah, look at the house. Looks like a tornado hit it. Yeah, we're gonna have to go talk to Oliver. I think I see his head bobbing around over there now. Yeah, how you doing, Ollie? How you doing? Hello. I'm your neighbor. My name's Oliver. I've been looking after this farm since your grandfather passed away. Nice to meet you, Oliver. I appreciate your help. So this is my heritage? Yes. This nice farm and piece of land are all yours now. Welcome to our little county. Thanks. I don't know much about farming, but I'm a quick learner. I'm sure you'll fit in just fine. We're all good folk living here, and we help each other out. Please follow me. I'll show you around. Come on. Yeah, after you. I feel more comfortable walking behind you rather than you behind me. We'll talk later. Yeah, we will talk later. We got a lot to catch up on. As you can see, the farm is quite in a poor shape. Few repairs have been done here. Yeah, that's an understatement, you squatter. Here's your house. The roof needs work, but you can have some sleep here, perhaps. Or even you will have to bring this farm to a good shape yourself. Soon you'll see how to do it. Yeah, don't you worry, pal. Soon I'll figure out everything is right. Follow me. Oh yeah, don't worry, pal. I'm right behind you. Hey, nice shirt. Looks expensive. Is that new? We'll talk later. Here's the garage for your vehicles. It's empty now but I'm sure you'll need it pretty soon. Your grandpa didn't finish the upper floor, but if you can afford building materials, then you can fix the construction yourself. Oh yes, of course, Oliver. I mean, I wouldn't dream of imposing on you to help. I'm surprised grandpa didn't finish it, though. He was a pretty strong, healthy guy for a man his age. When I heard he died rather suddenly, it was quite a surprise. We'll talk later. This is your barn, empty for now but you can use it to store hay for your animals. Just fix these holes first, or everything will get wet and rot. Wonder what else is rotting around here. Your grandfather's old animals have all been sold. You will have to buy your own. Never did see the money for that, Oliver. The cow shed is old and needs some work, but it's still solid. You can do the fixes and upgrades yourself. Try fixing those holes first. I see you've come prepared and have your own tools. Good. Try to fix these doors since it's stuck and won't open. You may have a delusion that this barn is solid, but this old rotten pile of manure isn't. Geez, couldn't you have helped yourself to a shovel? We'll talk later. Yeah, looking forward to that. Looking forward to it indeed. Let's go ahead and get started here. Now you just hang back and relax, Ollie. I'll take care of this. You just stay right there. Having this guy behind me, I can't even see him, gives me the creeps. All right, it should open now. Come on. Hey, what's your hurry? We just went through all this to get it open. I just want to have a look inside, see what the place is. Oh my gosh, ugh. 
It stinks to high heaven in here. No wonder he didn't want to come in here. Yeah, right behind you, Ollie. I'm on board with not going in there. Build a scaffold to huh? climb up there and check the roof. You mean all the way up there? Oh, yeah. I'll just go ahead and whip up a scaffold and climb up there and fix the roof, Oliver. I'm going to have to see your weekly task roster uh, when this is all done. I'm not so sure about you. We'll talk later. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Well, in the meantime, sit on that log bench over here and relax. I wouldn't want you to stress yourself. Oh, jeez, these are heavy. It's been a long time since I've done manual labor like this, Oliver. Long time. We'll talk later. Yeah, the way he's been flailing his arms and head around when he's not talking to me, I'm kind of wondering who he is talking to. Probably thinking to himself, I don't think I much like him. Whew. Well, I think that's going to do it, Ollie. Time to get cracking. Feel free to climb up and join me if you like to. <laughs> that's right. Build a scaffold. Yep, I did it. Oh, yeah. Well, it's a little rickety. I might not have tightened all the bolts. A little test walk here. Well, if it hasn't fallen over yet, it probably won't. I would hate for it to fall on Oliver. Oh, oh, it's a little tight over here. A little, little tight. I might have to skip lunch. How's it looking up there? Not good. Come back down when you're done. All right. We need to go. Roger. Yep. Follow me. Uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and hang back since I just built the scaffold. Yeah, that's it. You run along. Oh, man. I better not drink the water around here. Haha, <laughs> getting the hang of this. Let's go ahead up here and do... Oh! Oh! Ow! Oh, my tailbone. Well, at least I landed in this lumpy, rotten straw. That's enough roofing for today. I'm going to go join Oliver. I can see why he didn't want to go up there. He's a man of leisure for a reason. Oh. Ooh, right behind you, Ollie. You can store harvested grains in the silo, so you can use these later, or sell them if you want. Before you use the silo, remember to fix it first. Yeah, I'll get right to that uh, sometime this week. My ankle's a little sore, Ollie. Ollie? Oh, oh, all right. Take a look at the greenhouse. Okay. You can grow some veggies here fast to earn some quick money. Veggies, you say, huh? Still, you'll have to fix these holes so your plants can grow to a best effect. I see your grandfather bought some materials to fix it already. You can use it to rebuild the greenhouse as good as you can. Hmm, there seems to be a few pieces missing, Ollie. Any chance you might know where those are? Okay, yeah, you just sit on over there on that rock and relax. Me and my, uh, bad ankle, we'll take care of fixing this up. Don't worry. Sure is a golden sweet opportunity. Put one to the head, and that would solve the problem with the tractor. Uh, what am I thinking? Get back to work. Let's have a break and sip some lemonade and talk about that tractor. We'll talk later. Uh, don't worry. I got the scaffolding. Don't get up. Me and my sore rubbery ankle. I can manage, Ollie. We'll talk later. That's it. I think it's quitting time, Mr. Slate. You're pretty good at this. I'm sure you'll do well on this farm. Actually, I might have a job for you myself. Hmm, you don't say. Hmm, what is it? Why don't you come to my place and do some fixes to my barn? It's mostly roof that needs work. But I don't have much money. But I'll give you my old tractor as a reward. 
I'm sure you can use it. Oh, yeah, you mean Granddad's old tractor that you stole before his body was even cold? Yeah, I can use it. Sounds good. I'll take care of this, Ollie, old pal. All right. I'm going back home now. Good luck and see you around. Now's my chance to beat him back home and have a look around that farm for that tractor. Yeah, see you around. Uh, walk careful, Ollie. <laughs> All right, now's my chance. Oh, this ankle's still killing me. Better stay low. Ah, oh, there we are. Ooh. Nah, he's still back there somewhere. I better work fast. I don't even know where to start. I'm checking here. Nothing. How about here? Nope, certainly not. Okay. Over here. Oh god, more rope, more rope. Oh man, there it is, got it. Hmm, this looks almost identical to Grandfather's tractor. Oh, new linkage bar, wonder what he's been pulling. Must have been so heavy he bent the other one. Try to start it up, nothing. Digging a hole out here this time of night. It's really, really odd and rather chilling. We'll talk later. We'll talk later. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, later's too soon for me, man. Whoa. I'm out of here. Ooh, no sign of him. I'm tired, man. I'm gonna sleep this off and get some shut eye. All right, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed this one and had a good laugh. So my overall impression of this game is I feel it's pretty solid and well done, especially for it being in early access phase. The lowest FPS I got was 59 out of 60, so that's pretty darn solid. The developers did say the game will be in the early access phase until around February 2018. I don't know if that will progress into another level of beta or if it will be just finalized and released as a full game at that time. That remains to be seen. The developers did outline a litany of features already implemented in this release and wrote extensively about their plans moving forward. I'll leave links down in the description to the Steam page and their official website so you can read all about it and check them over. The game will most likely never have wheel and pedal support based on what I've read, but they are debating on a, you know, handheld controller support. So we'll see if that comes to fruition. But for now, it's just keyboard only. Also, this game is for PC, and I saw no official mention of it coming to PlayStation or Xbox. I heard rumors, but I have not seen anything official. Now, there are several things I feel that do need tweaking in my opinion, such as the speed of the nail gun. In real life, with a pneumatic nail gun, you can fire nails in quick succession and not have to reload after each and every nail. <laughs> um, I would like to see the AI walking around in town and vehicles moving about the map other than the train, and they could stand to add some train cars onto that as well. I would also like to see an option for teleporting and resetting equipment. And most importantly, the characters should have eyes. It's really creepy that Oliver has two skin-colored holes behind his glasses. Um, moreover, the style of AI is very old tech. I mean, I'm talking 90s. You know, characters without eyes, nevertheless without moving eyes nowadays, uh, that's, that's pretty old. Nonetheless, I love this game, and there's a good level of detail for now, and plenty of gameplay to keep me happy. In my opinion, it's well worth a buy. However, I think for early access, the price is a little steep. At a 10% discount, I paid $26 American. Now, this sale is running from now until December 22nd on Steam, so if you like what you see, now's the best time to grab the game so you can have that 10% off as well. The developers say that the cost of the game will not go up on final release, they're kind of charging the full price for it now, so that kind of makes it easier to plunk down the coin early. 
Anyway, I want to thank you so much for joining me. And please do let me know what you think down in the comment section. I'm looking forward to chatting with you. And until we meet again, my friends, please take great care of each other, okay? And bye for now. We'll talk later. Oh, Jen. Oh, Jen, darling. Would you like to come watch Eustace Farmer with me? Sorry, dear. I have wash to do. Hmm. You just did laundry this morning. But okay. Well, at least I can count on all of you to join me. Can't I?